Hello guys, Sanjay here and as you can see, I have the Redmi Note 3 over here with me and I have installed the official Cyanogen Mod 13 on this device and many of you guys were asking me if the ROM is good or not, can it be used as daily driver and many questions like that and in this video, I will be able to answer all those questions and I'm using this ROM since last 4 to 5 days as if it's a device which I want to review. I don't know why I did that because this is just a ROM and this is not a device but anyways, this is going to be a comprehensive review because I have used it so much. First of all, it is based on 6.0.1 which is the latest version of Android and uh, Cyanogen Mod 13, you must be knowing that by now because of the title and this ROM is updated on daily basis and if you want to update it on daily basis and you do not want to download 300 or 400 MBs of data then do not worry, I have already made a video which you can check out over here which will allow you to update the ROM by just downloading 30 or 40 MB of data so don't forget to check out that video or I'll give the link of that in the description box below so first of all, let's start with LTE and Vivo LTE so as you can see at the top LTE is working completely fine and 80% of the testing that I have done on this device is done on the LTE and not on Wi-Fi so as you can see it works super fine without any issues and Vivo LTE is not working for this even if you go into SIM card setting you won't be able to find that option because uh, it's not working and blame Xiaomi for that it's not the developers problem and calls with Geo 4G network will work for that you will have to download this Geo join application from Play Store I'll give the link of that in the description box below too so Geo 4G works super fine on this ROM so no problem over there. Now let's talk about the performance in day to day life with this ROM. If you try to multitask with this ROM, if you try to open multiple applications, everything remains to be smooth, no problems over here. When it comes to Cyanogen mod, I have to say that performance was never an issue and I don't think so that it will be an issue with the Redmi Note 3 either. So as you can see, it's running through my test without any issues and I we will compare these timings with the official timings of MIUI 7 and let's see which one is going to be faster. MIUI 7 is completely fine without any issues, uh, no problems over there. But Cyanogen Mod 13 is a different ROM so it becomes a different experience altogether because MIUI is like completely customized version of Android whereas uh, you can say CM13 is a little bit uh, near to stock or almost near to stock with extra features which are extremely useful. Okay, so the website is different anyways, let it be. Okay, 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 let's go into the timing and we have, uh, we were not supposed to 1.8 and if we go into multitasking now and open up the YouTube application and let's see if it is running in the background. So it was, it is running in the background which is a good thing. Let's go and see if Ashpalt 8 is running in the background and Ashpalt 8 is being reloaded which is a sad thing but no problem over here the performance overall remains to be good now let's talk about the battery on this device and i got around 5 hours of screen on time with normal usage uh, i did not use it heavily but all the time lte was on or 4g was on no wi-fi was on and that's why the battery life gets a good thumbs up from me battery life will be as good as miui 7 or miui 8 whatever you're using so right now 52 percent of battery is left and uh, the screen on time is 2 hours and 19 minutes so i would end up getting around uh, 4 hours to 30 minutes of screen on time or around that if you're wondering which theme do i have then if you go into themes you can see that this is the theme that i have you can download it from play store and there are multiple themes which you can download from play store so there is no end to customization on uh, Cyanogen Mod 13 obviously and let's check out some of the customization options which are present over here so if we go into status bar you can change the clock style keep it to center battery style is already changed battery percentage inside the icon and I checked the gaming performance of this ROM with Clash of Clans, Subway Surfers and uh, Pokemon Go application and over there the performance was super smooth no issues over there but I did not test it with heavy games like Ashpalt 8 or Nova 3 or something like that uh, because I'm not that heavy gamer. Now let's take a look at the camera application over here and if you click some pictures, those are going to be good, uh, those are not going to be excellent for sure. Uh, so front camera also looks good, no problem over there. But remember the camera quality is not going to be as good as MIUI 7 or MIUI 8's camera. Rear facing camera performs decently as you can see over here and as you can see in the sample shots also. But don't expect the camera quality to be exactly same as that of MIUI 7 or the stock ROM. And even after using the ROM for half an hour or one hour continuously, I did not face any heating issues. So that's a good thing. And one of the questions that I have to answer in the video is that does the fingerprint sensor work? And as you can see, if I keep my finger, the device gets unlocked immediately. 
and uh, you can see it gets unlocked so fingerprint sensor is working super fine no issues over here also and i'll give the link of this cover which i'm using on the redmi note 3 in the description box below so just in case if you want to buy this cover you can go ahead and do that too and i guess that's pretty much it for the rom review now let's talk about the real question should you install this rom over mi ui 7 or mi ui 8 for stability or something like that um, my answer would be no because the rom is not going to be more stable as compared to the stock rom obviously it may have different look different feel or something like that but it's not going to be extremely useful for those users who need extremely stable rom no rom is going to be like that but if you are someone who likes to try new roms and is okay with few minor bugs here and there i did not notice any except the volt bug then you can surely go ahead and install this rom you won't be disappointed for sure because the performance remains very good without any issues battery life is also decent to good on this rom so basically if you install this rom you are not going to degrade that you install this rom or something like that because this rom is official cyanogen mod 13 and it performs good too and just in case if you want to revert back to miui after installing this rom uh, that guide is already made by me and i'll give the link of that in the description box below once again so don't forget to check out the description box below so i guess this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach triple five likes on this video so don't forget to hit that like button down below all those redmi note 3 users come on guys I made this video for you so you have to hit that like button and if you guys have not subscribed to the channel already then do hit that subscribe button because many more awesome videos like this on the Redmi Note 3 are going to come real soon on the channel so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching and there are special instructions that you have to follow in order to install this rom I'll give the link of the XDA thread for that in the description box below don't forget to follow those exact steps so I guess that's it thank you guys thank you for watching